One of my favorite hymns is Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. I'm an heir of salvation, purchased by God, born of his spirit and washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song, praising my savior all the day long. When we think of Jesus in times of distress, in times of grief, in times of turmoil, we can always have that blessed assurance that Jesus is there, that he's in control and that everything is going to be all right. As always, I'm so glad to be here for the Sanctuary Sunday School powered by the Sanctuary Academy. And I am so glad that you are here with me. If this is your first time, welcome. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and tap that bell. If you have been watching with me every week, I appreciate you. Thank you. Continue to tune in and I appreciate all the love, the support, the comments and everything that you have shown to me. Go to the website www.thesanctuary.academy and just look around there and see if there's something that interests you. I have downloads there, there's classes, so go to the website www.thesanctuaryacademy, the sanctuary.academy. This week's subject is the assurance of victory over death. How many people know that through Jesus we have victory over everything, including death. Victory over death, the assurance of victory over death. And so we're picking up where we left off last week where Lazarus was sick and then he died. And at this point in this lesson, he had been dead for four days. He had already been buried. So for all practical purposes, Lazarus was gone and they were there grieving him. And it says that they were in Bethany and Bethany is not that far from Jerusalem. So people had come down to Bethany from Jerusalem to comfort Mary and Martha in the loss of their brother. And so then at this point, four days later, Jesus is there and Martha ran out to meet Jesus while Mary stayed at home. And it's very interesting. Martha's statement is that had, if you had been here, my brother would, wouldn't would have died. Now her statement was very powerful because it indicates that Martha did indeed have faith in Jesus, which is why they sent for him and they desperately wanted him there because they believed that Jesus did have power over death and that he could prevent Lazarus from dying from that sickness. So Martha was glad to see Jesus. She was glad that he was there to comfort them, but she felt like had he gotten there earlier, her brother wouldn't have died. And then Martha, Jesus started to talk to Martha, right? And he told her, he said, well, whatever whatever you ask of God God will do it and she says she knows and she understood and he told her he said well you're going to see your brother again your brother's going to live again and Martha still didn't fully understand what he was saying because you've got to remember this we're teaching these scriptures and we're reading these scriptures after the fact they are living these scriptures and so Martha didn't really know exactly what Jesus meant. And so she said, well, yeah, I know I'm going to see him again in the resurrection. And he told her, he said, but I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And this is where Jesus gave them the assurance that he had victory over death. And so then they came to the house and Mary said the same thing that Martha said. If you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. And so this is not necessarily, some people bring this out as if they didn't have faith in what he could do. That's not necessarily the case because see, sometimes you have to believe in what Jesus can do even if you don't understand what he's doing right now. They believed in his power, but they didn't understand why he didn't come and why he didn't keep Lazarus from dying. But see, my lesson that I got out of this is sometimes 
You've got to go through the hard times in order to get you to the best times. And so we see here that Jesus assured them and he told them that he had the victory over the grave. And then this part is very touching because he went out there to where Lazarus was buried and people began to speculate, you know, he was just going to see the body or going to see what happened or going to grieve. And in fact, he did grieve because he loved them. He loved Mary. He loved Martha and he loved Lazarus. So he, even though he was a son of God, he felt that pain and he thought about, he felt what they went through watching their brother sick and watching him die and the pain that they went through with the, the funeral and the burial process and all of that. He felt that agony and it says plain and simple in the scripture, Jesus wept and that gave me so much comfort because as I've been saying over the past year, so many people are grieving and to know that we have a savior who is right there with you in the grieving process. Why are you crying? Why are you grieving? Why are you hurting? Why are you going through all of this? He's right there with you and he feels it and he will carry you through it. And so even though it's not in our lesson today, it's, it's next week's lesson. We all know that Jesus rose, Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. But in this lesson, even before it's done, that's why I kind of like the way that they broke these lessons up because it's not done yet in this lesson. But there is the assurance that he can. And sometimes the assurance that he can and the faith and belief that Jesus can is what makes him do it. When you don't have the assurance, the faith that Jesus is going to come through, you can cut off your own victory, your own deliverance. But Mary and Martha, they knew that Jesus was there and they kind of sat there with him and in participation. We don't know. We can only speculate. We don't know if they knew that he was going to raise Lazarus. We don't know if they thought he was going to do something different. But we did. We do see here in this lesson that Mary and Martha believed that Jesus was going to make it all right. And you know, sometimes not only does Jesus make it all right, he makes it better than you ever could have imagined it being because he's Jesus and we've got to love him. We've got to trust him. We've got to believe him and we've got to obey him just because he's Jesus. And because he is Jesus, we have that blessed assurance that we have victory over everything, including death.